in this illustration we are given three identical electric dipoles arranged parallel to each other one two three at equal separation as shown in the figure that means the separation between dipole number one and two is same as the separation between two and three also it is given the separation between the charges of the dipole is negligible as compared to the separation between the dipoles that means the separation between the positive and negative charge is much smaller than this distance that means we can apply the formula of the electric dipole in next part of the question we are given in the given configuration that means when all three dipole moment vector are parallel to each other the total electrostatic interaction energy is u naught that means at this configuration total energy is u naught now what what is done now one of the n dipole either one or three is gradually reversed how much work done by the electric forces we need to calculate the work done by the electric forces when either one or three is gradually reversed okay so let us make the diagram to the next page this is the situation okay we have written dipole moment vector p1 p2 p3 for one two three dipole and here it should be noted that p1 vector is equal to p2 vector equal to p3 vector because dipole moment we have the identical dipoles okay and separation say is smaller and is smaller and if we take three dipole as a system we will have the three pairs that means we can write the potential energy of the system as u12 plus u23 plus u13 this is the potential energy associated with the three pair of the dipoles okay now let us consider potential energy of 1 and 2 so let us write u12 and u12 equal to minus p2 dot product e1 vector right potential energy associated with the second dipole because of the electric field of first dipole so we have written minus p2 dot e1 e1 is the electric field associated with the dipole number 1 we can observe here the center of the dipole of number 2 is at the equatorial position of the dipole number 1 that means the electric field because of this dipole should be in the downward direction so let us assign this vector as e1 vector now we can observe the angle between p2 vector and e1 vector is 180 degree or pi so here we can write this dot product as p multiplication k p divided by r cube r cube is the separation r is the separation between these two dipoles and multiplication cos 180 degree and cos 180 degree equal to minus 1 so this is equal to minus minus will be positive so this value will be k p square divided by r cube this is u12 similarly we can write u 2 3 because we can observe the configuration is similar that means the potential energy u12 should be equal to u 2 3 so this is the potential energy for 2 3 configuration now we can observe for 1 3 we have identical method identical process only difference is the separation instead of r we have 2 r so instead of r we should substitute 2 r and if we substitute 2r this value will be equal to kp square divided by 8r cube so u13 is equal to kp square divided by 8r cube okay so we calculated the potential energy associated with 1 2 2 3 and 1 3 so let us substitute in the this expression this one so we got this relation now we can add these values This is equal to 17 kp square divided by 8r cube, and we are given the initial potential energy. That is the potential energy associated with the initial configuration is u naught. That means this value is equal to u naught. This is the u naught. 
now from this we can find the value of k p square divided by r cube this is equal to 8 u not divided by 17 let this equation number 1 now let us move to the next part of the question in next part of the question we are given now one of the end dipole is gradually reversed so let us reverse the direction of dipole number 3 so let us make the diagram right this would be like this okay now we can observe here you again we have the three pairs because the system is having the three element so we can write the potential energy is equal to u12 plus u23 plus u13 this is the potential energy and here we can observe these two dipole 1 and 2 are parallel and but 2 and 3 are anti parallel having the same dipole momentum p and p and same separation that means u12 and u23 will have the same magnitude but opposite direction so if this is positive this will be negative that means these two will get cancelled okay that means the total potential energy associated with the system should be equal to u13 that means we need to calculate u13 now now select 1 and 3 we can write this potential energy as p minus p3 dot product e1 vector p3 is the dipole moment of the third vector dipole and E1 is the electric field associated with the first dipole at the center of the third dipole. We can observe again the center of this dipole at the equatorial position. That means the electric field because of this will be anti parallel to the P1 vector. That means it will be in the downward direction like this E1. And we know the formula for the electric field because of this dipole as Kp divided by 2r to the power 3 because separation is 2r. So, here we can write and we know angle is 0 degree between p3 and e1 vector. So, we can write this expression minus p multiplication e1 vector magnitude multiplication cos 0. Right? That means it is equal to kp square divided by 8r cube. This is the total potential energy at final configuration. This one. Now, we can write the burden by the electric force equal to minus of the change in potential energy. And we know potential energy change is equal to u final minus u initial. And we know the value of u final this one and u initial was this one. So, let us write this u final minus u initial. Now, we can simplify this is equal to 18 k p square divided by r cube and we have calculated the value of k p square divided by r cube as 8 divided by 17 u naught. So, let us substitute this value and now 8 and 8 will get cancelled. This is equal to 18 divided by 17 u naught. This is the world done by the electric forces.